In this video, we want to look at how to run the payables invoice register. To do that, you go to the navigator menu and you select scheduled processes and click on schedule a new process. The name of the process that we want to run is called payables, payables invoice register. By clicking on tab, it will find the invoice register program and click on OK. And then you select your supply name. I'm going to run this specifically just for Lee supplies. So again, that should automatically def default my Lee supplies. And you can see that now I can select my accounting period. So I'm going to run it just for July. And I have other options like process options and advanced. So for example, in my advanced, I can schedule this to run at a specific, uh, at a particular time, frequency and date and so on. I'm going to run it as soon as possible. I can also specify what my output to be, uh, to be. So I can say that I want the layout, which is the default layout is the payables invoice register, or you can specify other layouts that you want to see it in. And also you can, well, to do that, you have to customize your BI publisher layout to be able to see that. I have other, other methods of viewing, either via data, HTML, RTF file, PowerPoint, Excel, CSV, and so on. You can specify destination, whether you want to go to a specific printer, email, or fax. And you've also got the option to notify when it's done. So for example, you can specify who the recipient is and put a condition to say that if there's a warning or error or on success, go to that recipient. Let's go back to my parameters. So I'm going to run this for July, just for lease supplies. And my schedule is going to be as soon as possible. Submit and click on OK. I'm going to refresh and I can see that it's now in the wait mode. Running is completed and this is my output. So let's republish and I want to view in PDF. So this is my invoice register. And I can see that my invoice for $400 is showing in my summary. So that's how to run the payables invoice register. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.